Shalom, shalom, beloved. It's me, angel, another saint. Shalom, shalom, beloved. It's me, angel, another saint. I'm going to be reading Luke 24, 1 through 12. It is the story of the resurrection of Yahusha HaMashiach, the story of first fruits. Now on that one Shabbat, very early in the morning, they came to the sepulcher, bringing the spices which they had prepared and certain others with them. And they found the stone rolled away from the sepulcher, and they entered in and found not the body of Adonai Yahusha. And it came to pass, as they were much perplexed thereabout, behold, two men stood by them in shining garments. And as they were afraid and bowed down their faces to the earth, they said unto them, Why seek ye the living among the dead? He is not here, but he is risen, but is risen. Aleph Tav Eth. Remember how he spoke unto you when he was yet in Galilee, saying, The son of Adam must be delivered into the hands of sinful men and be crucified and the third day rise again. And they remembered his words and returned from the sepulcher. And Aleph Tav Eth told all these things unto the eleven and to all the rest. It was Miriam and Migdal and Yochanan and Miriam, the mother of Yaakov, and other women that were with them, which told these things unto the apostles. And their words seemed to them as idle tales, and they believed them not. Then arose Kepha, Peter, and ran unto the sepulchre, and stooping down, he beheld the lion's clothes laid by themselves and departed wondering in himself at that which was come to pass. That's where I'm stopping at verse 12, beloved. I'm doing a study on first fruits because today is the day. However... I know nothing of it because I'm learning. And I have no signal where I am currently, so I can't even look online. So what can I do? I'm trying to walk this walk, the Torah walk. I'm trying to learn. I'm trying to find friends that, brothers and sisters and, you know, believers that believe like I do, or that I believe like they do. However, it's very difficult, beloved. It's a very, very lonely walk. And now when I do find believers that believe or are further in this walk, and if I ask questions or I want more proof of what they're saying, then 
they become upset and I'm afraid to to lose them as friends but when I stand before Abba, before Yahusha, I'm going to stand alone. So I have to do my own research. I have to. Even if it's me alone, even if a friend or a brother or a sister doesn't stick by my side because I don't believe like them like him like her I'm very very sensitive so sometimes I if I'm spoken to roughly it has two effects on me either I pay attention and correct myself if you know scripture be there or I just walk away <sighs> and if I believe that Abba is sovereign and if I believe that I'm seeking his truth with all my heart, all my being, then even if it takes me longer, I will eventually end up exactly where I'm meant to be because I believe in His divine providence. So, At the end of the day, beloved, it doesn't matter if we have one friend or one million friends. At the end of the day, we're alone. It's just us and Abba in our own minds, in our own heads, we are alone does this make any sense to y'all I have my channel because I'm documenting this walk I'm in the Torah walk the Torah lifestyle and I've seen so much division, so much division. It breaks my heart, beloved, when I think that I find a channel where there's nothing but truth and love then all of a sudden I find something that other people say is not right whether they follow the moon whether they follow the sun whether they follow the stars whether they follow the a different calendar uh, whether they follow Paul or completely dismiss Paul's writings uh, whether they're Messianic Jews whether they're Hebrew roots I'm starting to realize that no matter what I do I'm alone And so that's why I have this channel, so that I could document my walk since I started walking in this path, the ancient path, 
what I believe is the narrow way. What I believe is how Yahusha walked. That in itself, the name Yahusha, is a uh, an adventure that I've uh, embarked in because I I used to love Jesus so much that I wondered and wondered and wondered. How is it that I am not fulfilled? How is it that I still have questions about him? So I started asking questions. I started asking questions like, Was he a Jew, Jew? If so, what type of Jew? Also, if he was a Jew, what did he eat? How did he dress? What language did he speak? Did he have a beard? Did he wear seats, tassels? Uh, did he eat kosher or clean or unclean? Because even that I question. Because, to me, it comes from Judaism, and Judaism is what he preached against. He called them Pharisees. He called them uh, a brood of vipers and hypocrites. So, and then it says that he came to his own, and his own rejected him. So, then I see other channels that say that he was black some say that he was white because it was such a busy city that you know so many different tones of of color were there uh, it's 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 the path I'm in beloved and what good is it if someone you meet knows so much scripture but lacks love? Love for the... Let's stop right there. Love. There's three types of love, right? That I know of. I'm sure that there's probably a lot more. But, well, I know of four. So the first one is agape, which is the love that one has for Abba, our creator. I call him Yahuwah. And then there's phileo love, which is brotherly love. Uh, the city of Philadelphia is named after this love. The city of brotherly love, Phileo. Then there's Eros. The uh, type of love like that's sexual. Uh, that a man has for his woman and his woman has for her man. Um, also, the fourth one I know is... is uh, which I was just taught was that there's a biblical love. In other words, if you love like the Bible says to love, then that means to, yes, it means to, to lay down your life for, for your brother. Which is what Yahusha did for us. So I guess there's five. There's that love right there. But the biblical love I'm trying to get to is that. If you love someone. You're going to tell them. 
what the Torah says. You're going to tell them what sin is. And how do we know what sin is? We cannot stop sinning if we don't know that we're sinning. So we have to read the Torah. The Torah tells us what sin is. However, my other brother has told me that there is a Torah within the Torah. <laughs> so, you know what I'm saying, beloved? It's it's a it's a walk. It's not that I'm confused. It's that I'm seeking. It's not that I want to blindly believe, but I want to see it in scripture for myself. And then, even when you see it in scripture for yourself, then the books come into question. Oh, the books have been altered and manipulated, and by whom? Then that's another thing, by the sages and by you know different rabbis and so then you think why would they want to do that and Yahusha says it because they are from the synagogue of Hasatan so then we get into the commandments okay Abba says Yahusha says if we love him to keep his commandments so what commandments not just the Ten Commandments, but all the commandments that apply to us. Commandments that apply to a farmer do not apply to me because I'm not a farmer. Or commandments that apply to women do not apply to me because I'm not a woman. Or uh, commandments that apply to priests do not apply to me because I'm not a priest. Yet, however, what type of priest are you talking about? A priest that the Levitical law is talking about? Or a priest that Abba and Yahusha are talking about? So, in that sense, I believe I am a priest. I have not only been told by people, but Abba has also anointed me. Uh, in a way, whoa. In a way that he and I know. And... That's, that's like, without a, you know, it's a given. It's just, when you hear from Abba, you hear from Abba. When you're not looking for signs and he gives you a sign, he gives you a sign. I don't know what else to say, beloved. All I know is that... I know there's one friend that I cannot lose, no matter what. And that friend is Yahusha. And he will teach me because he is faithful and he says so. His Ruach HaKodesh dwells in me because I know. And I'm not going to let another man or woman tell me that the Ruach HaKodesh is not in me. All I know is that I'm walking in obedience 
as much as I can, as much as I'm learning, as soon as I learn something, I apply it immediately because I want to be sensitive to the Ruach HaKodesh. Also, my vocabulary has been changing. Before, I used to say Holy Spirit. Now, I've realized that, or I've learned that there's a lot of paganism in the English language. So, I'm trying to go to the Hebrew. But then, I've also heard that there's a lot of witchcraft in the Hebrew language as well because of uh, I guess after Babylon when the children of Abba came out they came out mixing witchcraft into their beliefs and so I believe that that's where Judaism came in so then I go further back to Avraham and that's what I'm claiming right now what I've been claiming and another woman confirmed it old old woman and she uh, without me saying anything she said that I am a child of Avraham we believe we are children we are of the seed of Abraham but those who don't believe then who knows what type of seed they're from because then that's another thing I've learned that there's good seed and there's bad seed and then I've also learned that there's DNA manipulation uh, CRISPR technology uh, uh, mRNA injections, uh, the Nephilims have been amongst us, and yet are, and some people don't believe. Also, is the earth flat or round? Uh, what else? Did the animals speak? in Adam and Eve's time. Uh, if they did, was the language Hebrew. It's, it's just a bunch of stuff, beloved, that I'm trying to digest on my own. I'm trying to learn on my own. I'm trying to do away with the false. I'm trying to keep the truth. And at the end of the day, I'm alone. I don't care what anybody says. I'm alone. I'm talking about spiritually. And I'm not talking about not being without Abba, because I know I'm with Abba. I know the Ruach HaKodesh is in me so I'm not alone in that sense but in the sense of me being able to discern and choose what is right and what is wrong and Love covers all sins, my brother taught me. Uh, that there's a scripture that says that. When I used to think that love only covered a multitude of sins. Nope, I was corrected. He showed me another Bible verse that speaks about love covering all sins. Now, then there we go again. What type of love? Is it the type of love that a father has for his children? Is it the type of love that 
that uh the agape love the the love that abba has for us and we for abba is it the love that sticks by the torah and then then we talk about the torah within the torah you know because some commandments were man-made so what commandments were given of abba you know what i'm saying beloved and all i know is this that i love my children and that as long as i can i would try to have a relationship with my children and the only way i will stop trying to have a relationship with my children is only if they ask me to if they walk away from me if they stop talking to me then they chose to not have a relationship with me but as of today i have 5 children living and all five of my children love me and i am not going to walk away from them because abba has given me those children those are my sheep those are his children his inheritance and that's what i know beloved yes he comes to divide families he comes to okay then when my children decide to leave my side then that's when they choose to live leave my side they could be across the world but if they're still in a fellowship with me their abba then i will fellowship with them does that make sense beloved i love you my children i love you beloved shalom